Hello everyone, welcome back to Class Act Travel. And of course we have Kathy James from Class Act Travel with us. Welcome Thank back. You. Thank you, sir. I'm going to fill in for Sue. Sue is off today. And we have Jeff Ginther from Cayman Islands Department of Tourism. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Great. Kathy, uh, I got a list of questions here that uh, we put together and I'm going to go to work. And go for work. Go for it. There, go, go with, for it. Go, uh, go with Jeff and see what we can <laughs> learn about Cayman Islands. <clears throat> okay, uh, Jeff, uh, you're, you're uh, the part of the tourism of Cayman Islands and we want to start with uh, maybe how easy is it to get there? To is it flying there uh, an easy part? Is it a uh, a stop and hop uh, to another plane, or what is going on with airlines going to Cayman? Well, right now, um, pretty much in the high season, which technically runs from maybe November, and some of the airlines go to August. There is nonstop service from O'Hare, both United and American. Um, otherwise, low season, you would have to, you could take American through Charlotte, Miami. Um, you can do a Southwest through Fort, Fort Lauderdale. So it's very simple to get there. Even Delta, you can take Delta through Atlanta. Um, it's a one stop. Cayman is only an hour south of Miami. So it's not an all day. You can literally um, leave here by between 5.30 and 6.30 in the morning and be on the beaches at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, that's great. That's great. No, oh, <laughs> yeah, we can have our cocktail. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about the language? Is it English speaking? It or? is. It's, uh, it's English speaking. They're a British overseas territory. So they still are somewhat ruled by, by the crown, but um, they do, they are self-governing. They have a governor that's appointed by what is now the king. I always, for 27 years, I said the queen. queen, yeah. By the king, um, who lives on island and just kind of oversees how government's working. Now, if I fly there and I rent a car, mm -hmm. what side of the road am I driving on? <laughs> <laughs> and do not, I have, pardon me? Not the same side. Not the you same. Do. So the vehicle has a steering wheel on the other side as well? Uh, most of them. You, you'll really? find some, yeah, that are, are well, built that, American style. But yeah, that would be difficult for me yeah, you, to be you, on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> and you tend to, uh, when you're going for the turn signal, if it's on the opposite side, you'll see the windshield wipers go because <laughs> <laughs> that's also on the opposite side. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. It would be difficult for me. Now, let's talk about how secure is the island. If you fly there, do you feel like you got to be careful where you go and what you do and how you dress and so on. There, no, it's um, Cayman is a very safe island. Um, I've been doing this 27 years, and I tell everybody the first time I left that island, I felt safe. Um, the people are friendly. It's a very clean island. And even this year when I leave the island, it's the exact same thing. Um, you don't. Cayman is more upscale. Uh, when it comes to a destination and so you won't see any of the poverty or the begging anything of that sort um, the beaches are public so you can walk up and down the beach nobody's going to harass you it's actually illegal oh that's nice to hear. so yeah it's a very safe place and a lot of families go there because the parents can have the kids play on the beach and not have to keep an eye on them you know the whole time so that's great now what about currency Currency, they have their own dollar. The Cayman dollar is actually worth more than the U.S. And it's kind of stamped. So, I mean, it doesn't fluctuate. Um, it's, it, if you give them a U.S. dollar, it's like you gave them 80 cents. They accept U.S. dollars. The conversions are built right into the registers. So you don't have to worry about that. So do you have to convert when you get there? Your no, US dollar? no, you no. can They'll just... They'll take the U.S. dollar? Yes, yes. Yes, and even the um, ATMs, I have never used an ATM down there. My understanding, though, is you have an option if you want Cayman dollars or U.S. dollars. Okay, and what's typical for food? Coming from the U.S., American-type food, what are we looking at when we fly in and we get off the plane and we go to the resort? What are we looking at as far as food is concerned? Is it typical of the U.S.? It's, for the most part, Cayman is considered the culinary capital of the Caribbean. On Grand Cayman alone, there's over 200 restaurants. So oh I mean, my you gosh. can yes, you can get you can go to the Burger King, or you can get you know a five star dining at the Ritz Carlton. People will say, well, the food's expensive. 
you know, food is expensive everywhere. I yeah, said, right. I just went out to dinner last night for, and two people, it was 50 some dollars. So, but you can, you can judge it by where you want to eat. Get out of the hotels, go across the street. Um, those restaurants are going to be less expensive. Now, to prepare to fly there, what kind of clothes, because of temperature, should you be prepared for? Well, Cayman, typically, I mean, they will always say that the temperature ranges like 78 to 82 degrees. It does get warmer. Um, September was one of the hottest Septembers they had on record, which tends to be the norm right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, you're just, just kind of casual resort wear. Shorts are accepted. Polo shirts, button down shirts, whatever. They are a little bit more conservative when, it, when you're leaving the beach. They always ask that you put a cover up on if you're yeah. walking through the lobby or. No, I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of uh, inclusive properties in Cayman, am I right? No. No? no? Cayman does not have any all-inclusive properties. Oh. We have one property that sits on the east side of the island that offers a meal drink inclusive mm -hmm. package. But Cayman, because it is safe, the hotels are right next to each other. Um, restaurants right across the street, they've looked at Cayman, but a lot of the, the all-inclusive properties or the companies that build these, they just said it's not our clientele. Um, Cayman is more of a savvy traveler, somebody who's probably traveled a lot. Um, they're looking for a different kind of vacation. And our demographics, usually it's like 35 on up. So we don't have a big kind of party young crowd. Okay. Um, so it's it's just never been appealing to, I mean, we I get that all the time. People will say to me, Kathy will probably agree, why don't you build an all-inclusive? You know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, yes. It's it just does. It's just never fit for Cayman. Right now, we have technically three properties that are um, under construction. One is the Hotel Indigo, more upscale. We have a Hyatt and a Hilton Curio collection. Um, there's also they actually are selling some some units there, but there's actually a Mandarin Oriental too. That's, okay. They haven't broke ground yet, but they've kind of laid stakes there. Now, uh, there are sister islands rather close by. Yes. Are, are there excursions from the Cayman Islands onto these other islands? You can. The sister islands sit um, 90 miles from Grand Cayman. They technically cater to a scuba diving clientele. Okay. Um, Cayman's like renowned for scuba diving. We have 365 dive sites. Uh, what is most important about these dive sites is they're all, they have the mooring balls. So the dive boats aren't allowed That's to just best. drop the anchor on coral. So you're they have to tie. You're not doing damage. You're, right. you're got, all you do is pick up the mooring ball and you hang, hold on to it and you're there and you can do whatever. Right. And you're not doing damage to the coral reef, to the fish, to whatever. It's the best thing they ever come out with. Yes. Honestly. And the only place they don't do that is Stingray City, which is one of our mo most popular um, because it's a sandy bottom, you know, yeah. it's a, it's three to four feet deep. You're you're waist deep. You're feeding wild stingray. Um, so there, they don't have mooring balls because of the sandy bottom. But typically, you have to hook up to the mooring ball. But you can take day trips over to Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Mm -hmm. You know, people just want to see it. Yeah, uh, Little Cayman is very flat. Um, it's about it's the smallest of the three. Um, they do have a beautiful beach called Point of Sand on one side of it. Cayman Brack is, I guess you would call it our tallest island. It has a, a bluff on one end of it, but they do have a, a great parrot preserve there. There's caves to explore, and um, but again, they cater to a scuba diving. If you're not a scuba diver and you're staying at the hotel, typically when the boats go out in the morning, you might be the only one left at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you touched on kids being at the beach and it's safe and all that, but it, uh, I'm assuming that it lends itself more for a family vacation then. It, it Is, does. Am I not, understanding that right? It's families, couples, um, because the hotels in Cayman, we don't have like this. It's not hotel, hotel, hotel. We have a few hotels. We have a Marriott, a West End, a Ritz Carlton, a Kimpton Seafire, um, some smaller properties, Hampton and Sunshine Suites. 
but most of the properties on Seven Mile Beach are condominiums. And they are not technically timeshares. They are purchased and then the owners put them in a rental pool. So it's just always been very popular in Cayman because it was such a stable government and a safe place. They didn't have to worry, you know, okay, I'm gonna spend all this money and what's gonna happen to it. So you'll find a lot of condos, those kind of, they kind of cater to the families. You know, families, they can have a three bedroom condo. They have three, three bathrooms in there. Uh, we have some condos, you walk right out your door, you're right on the sand. So it's- Wow, it that's just, nice. Yeah, it just lends to a, more of a family, a lot of family reunions do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just, I think a lot of it has to do with the safety issue. Now, I hear about Stingray City. Yeah. It's, <laughs> can you dwell on that? <laughs> Technically, it's, you can dive Stingray City. It's about a 15-foot dive. Um, 15 but, feet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you basically are just I'm kneeling, watch. Yeah, <laughs> kneeling down and the Stingray are coming around you. You kind of kneel in a circle. Mm -hmm. um, if you do it as a snorkel, um, you go out there on boats. Like I said, it's waist deep. And um, you're just watching the stingrays around you. It's amazing to see because they are wild, um, but they hear the boat motors. So as soon as they hear the boat motors, the stingrays come out of the oh. shadows. Yeah, they know what's in store. Right, 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 right. Now, uh, turtles are also a very interesting sight to see, I'm sure. Yes. From yeah. what I understand. And Cayman was... Um, when it was first discovered, evidently there, it was loaded with turtles. Um, you still, they're still around. They have a turtle center on the island, which actually raises and releases the green sea turtle. Okay, so that's all controlled. Then. Yes, yes. Uh, of course, back when, I mean, because Grand Cayman didn't really have, I mean, of course, there was no cattle or anything like that, and their wildlife was very limited. Limited, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you had people that would eat turtle and, um, and of course, fish. But you can go to the turtle center. Horse, fish? No, of course. Oh, of course, fish. I'm, yeah, okay, not that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you can see um, the turtle in different <laughs> cycles of its life. And I mean, they have some that are, you know, half the size of this counter right here. They're, it's amazing. And what amazes me the most is that they can regulate the temperature in the incubators, and that decides uh -oh. if it's a male or a female. Okay. Yeah. So they can do that. Well, I'm sure one of the questions that my wife, Sue Jankowski, would be asking you, because she would love to shop there, what are you in store for <laughs> when you're shopping? What are you going to see and what can you purchase? What's typical? Well, it's, I, and again, I'm not a shopper, but this is what I hear from everybody is, um, uh -oh. is, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> is uh -oh. jewelry. Jewelry is okay. very good price in Cayman. Um, anything that's British, like I guess there's a lot of British, like, I want to say fabrics or whatever that you can get there. They buy napkins, tablecloths. But I was just told by a travel agent friend who went in January, purchased a ring for her mother's 80th birthday. Not exactly sure what it was. I want to say a ruby. Could be. She yeah. had it. She wanted to have it insured. So she brought it home, had it appraised. And she goes, I should have brought three of them and sold them oh. here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. No, she it's all duty free. Good. Yes, yes. But liquor is good there too. Liquor is reasonable there too. It is. Um, it is reasonable. But the problem is, like, if you're not on a nonstop flight, you have to pack that in your suitcase when you come back into the U.S. So if you're coming, Grand Cayman to Miami. Oh, I see. Because you gotta, you're not coming through an, a, a yeah. airport. Okay, I got it. I so, didn't thought about that. Yeah. So I mean, so All that right. kind of lends itself to. I've done it many times, but it is a a pain in the butt. Yes, it yeah. can be. Is yes. it worth it all? Yeah. Well, I sure appreciate everything that you have shared with us, and it, it is interesting. I personally would like to be there. I've been there years and years ago on a cruise, mm -hmm. but I would sure like to drive, uh, not drive there, but fly there <laughs> directly if I could and, uh, and enjoy that for a week or so. And I know my wife would enjoy shopping there as well. Yeah, so. it's, it's a great destination. Like I said, it's, it's very safe. The, the hotels encourage the guests to go off property. So, I mean, you might ask them who, I, I want to get a, a good lobster dinner. And a lot of times the concierge won't even point you to their hotel. They'll say, walk down the street, turn left at here. They, they have great lobster. Okay. So they're not, you know, it's, it's, they're trying to, I don't know, make the guests happy. And what's unusual for 
Cayman Islands, and this, I always was, I was very proud of this point of them. On Stafford Department of Tourism, we have um, hotel inspectors. Every property that is licensed and sold by Department of Tourism must be completely inspected every two years. So they may do it, wow. in, you know, the larger hotels will do it in sections. Mm -hmm. Some of the one, other ones are small, but I mean, they check, mm -hmm. they check springs on mattresses, they, everything. Well, that's good to hear because then it keeps the quality up. Right, yeah. right. Because, yeah. you know, we had a number of years ago, we had a director of tourism that said a bad mattress can ruin a vacation. Yes. So yes. that was her point. And now we have a new airport, which our airport was small, too small for what we were, for the number of visitors that were coming on. So that also was put in place basically to make it a, a better experience, either arriving or departing. So. Now, are there a limited amount of planes flying in and flying out well, on a daily basis? I wouldn't say limited. There's a number of flights. The problem with Cayman is that, and the U.S. airline, everybody wants to come in between like noon and two, and everybody wants to leave between one and four. So you have all these planes that are okay. that are that can be lined up. And of course, you go through customs immigration. It is you know you do. You do have to have a passport when yeah. you come to Cayman. Okay. Um, so they check all that. And mm -hmm. it can be a line if there's more a number of planes that come in at the same time. Very good. Jeff, is there anything else uh, uh, in conclusion to um, you sharing how great Cayman is? And you have my interest. Yeah, well, and, and again, like I said, it's an hour <laughs> south of Miami. You have nonstop service available from Chicago. And all over. I mean, you have it out of New York. I mean, no matter where you are, you have it out of New York, you have it out of Minneapolis. There's, of course, Miami, Tampa. Um, we have a new flight, Cayman Airways does, out of, out of um, LA uh, twice a week. So it's actually shorter to get from LA to Grand Cayman than it is to Hawaii. Wow. wow. So, yeah. And it's, it's, the nice. first, yeah, it's the first flight they've ever had <laughs> to the Caribbean from LA nonstop. The diving is what's really great there, too. Yes. The diving is exceptional, mm. just mm. absolutely exceptional. That's where I got certified was in the Cayman's yeah. dive, so it's amazing. And, and they, they, there's a lot of people that claim, and we kind of run with it, um, the birth, birthplace of recreational scuba diving was in Cayman um, by Bob Soto. And uh, so, yeah, diving is very important to to the island and to the people there. So, yes, it's it's... We have a number of dive shops that support the Cayman Islands that send groups there, and um, and it's easy diving. You know, you don't have drift diving, you don't have crashing waves. You basically go off a boat um, straight down. I tell everybody, I said, if you kind of move over a little bit while you're down there and then come straight back up, you'll hit your head on the boat. You're not <laughs> going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, thank you for sharing all this thank information you. with us, and um, we're we're going to have Kathy share where she's right. at and her phone number sure. and so those people that want to join uh jeff uh, on his cruise and his diving <laughs> uh you can maybe share with the viewers I how they so. contact you okay i have class act travel it's 6946 west 111th street in worth on the corner of 111th and worth avenue the number is 708-448-6560 we are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. If you need something later, just call us and we will stay. We just haven't put night hours on yet since COVID. It just, we're getting there, but not quite yet. Anything that you need, just give us a holler and we'll help you with the Caymans. I loved it. I thought it was just gorgeous. And Seven Mile Beach is in just amazing. It is great. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, uh, for bringing Jeff. Jeff, thank you again for You're coming welcome. out. I sure My appreciate pleasure. it. Um, we will see you again next month. Yes, sir. I'm Ron Jankowski with PHTV4. Thank you for watching us, and we will be back to share another program with you uh, next month. Mm -hmm.